Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to episode, I have no clue, 11, 12, 13. I think it's 13. Any of the above. Sure. Uh, we'll go the, with it. the Harmony Reads podcast about books that we're reading. And we're all a little silly because we just talked about dumb things that nine-year-old <laughs> boys say, which I have no clue about any of it, but apparently there's certain things that they say. <laughs> and they find hilarious. We won't share them with you. No, we'll we're going to be a little more dignified than that. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, yes. So I think it's episode 13 of Harmony Reads. And you'll be watching this on January 12th, if you're watching it on the day that it's published. So we've just, uh, we're recording it, though, on January 2nd, because we record this segment at the same time as when we record the regular podcast, which you've already seen this last week, we hope, or maybe mm-hmm. not. I don't know. You might be not be a knitter or a crocheter or English paper piecer. Or you might not be interested in what we talk about on the other podcast. Anyway, so we've been doing some reading over the holidays because mm-hmm. that's as you do yeah. a little bit. Mm-hmm. Or puzzles or games or card games or or cartoons. Cartoons. Oh, okay. Great. Oh, chocolate. Isn't chocolate an activity? <laughs> yes, I think yes. so. Yes, um, yes. And last week on the Knitting and Crochet podcast, we had the whole big discussion about the new quality street packaging. So if you want to see, if you want to join in on that, that's in the in the episode uh, one thirty eight. Um, so I'm still reading Moby Dick. So I'm just going to go first because okay. I, it's going to be short and sweet. So I said in the last episode of Harmony Reads that I actually had to take a break because it was so graphic and depressing that I couldn't take it anymore. So and I was starting to feel I have a, I don't I wouldn't say an affinity, but I have a real true respect for whales. And I was becoming very disturbed about the whole thing because it's very graphic. So I'm moving along now. I've taken it in small doses mm-hmm. and I almost contemplated starting another book that was something humorous but i thought i need to plow i need to plow through this and people are saying why do you feel like you have to plow i'm in i'm actually interested in reading it because mm-hmm. i i find it fascinating that that book was so popular <laughs> and is like so renowned and everything and i understand why on one level but it's definitely graphic and mm not for today's uh like i don't know if it would get published today yeah you're re- and now simone's reading it again <laughs> just number three uh, i don't know oh you've read it many yeah. times um, okay. i can't remember um and we were talking about it and i am getting it confused now with another book about whaling right that i read so okay. i'm like okay i have to reread this and refresh my brain on you know the particulars because yeah. she asked a couple questions and i'm like I don't actually know which book that was. Yeah. 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 So. So um, I have 120 pages left. Not that I'm counting. But I looked this morning just so I could say that on the podcast. 120 pages left. We're on the chapter about Amber Amber Green. Amber Green. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I know about Amber Green, but I I haven't gone to school on Amber Green yet. That's the chapter that I'm just starting now. So I can imagine there's all kinds of thrilling facts about Amber Green as I read through those pages. We know now how a rotting whale smells, Mm -hmm. so that was a great detail (laughs) found on the ocean, which still has value, obviously. And, I mean, he does, he covers every single detail. Yeah. So you're on the white chapter. I just finished the chapter where he spends the entire chapter discussing the color white. Oh. Yeah, and the many aspects of white. Yes. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's, it's pretty full on. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. in depth. Okay. Although there are, there, I just, there actually was a funny part that I was kind of laughing because the two ships had met over, they had, I, I don't think, is this a spoiler alert? I don't think so. They found this ship, this ship, ironically called the Rosebud, is French, the French from France, and they have come across two dead whales in the in the sea, and they decide to harvest them anyway. I mean, so it's it, ironic that the name of the boat was Rosebud because the dead the whales smell. don't smell like. And he <laughs> describes the he describes the smell. You have to you have to give him his due. Yep. I mean, good on them for using what's already there. I'm, I'm assuming these whales died naturally. No, no. <laughs> 
I tried. Yeah. No. Uh, and well, I mean, one of them might have. I have a the real appreciation for that because uh, Kim and I talk about being super smellers. Yeah. And every once in a while, there's a little present on the beach. So a seal will come up. Oh. And you'll be walking along and you're like, what does that smell? Yeah. And then you keep walking. You're like, oh, it's worse. <laughs> and you keep closer. going and it's like, wow. <laughs> and then you see it and you're like, okay. So a seal is this size. Yeah. A whale yeah. is so much larger. So yeah. I can't even imagine. They smelt it from a distance. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, the irony, it's, it has, I don't know if this was his, if this was based on anything, but the irony that the boat was, that found it, it had two of them up close, like, uh, what do they call them? They're fat, like they're, they've tied them to the side right. of the boat. And they're going around with these two dead whales, and you could literally smell them from miles. Oh, like a, a that's one way to keep pirates away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. But it's the captain of the boat can't speak English; he's oh. French, and they have a guy from Guernsey that's doing the translation. But the guy from Guernsey and the guy from Nantucket have made a deal that he'll pretend that he's saying something, and the guy from Guernsey is going to to translate it into whatever he wants. Because oh. they actually want one of the dead whales because they know they can harvest amber three off of it. Oh, okay. So they they come up with this elaborate story, okay. and they, you know, it's a, it is funny. The exchange is funny because the one guy is saying something, but it's not the, the translator is saying something completely different, and the guy that's the French captain is completely oblivious that he's being. Now, the word diddle me. <laughs> Is a word that I would not use in this case, but it's, that's the word. Apparently, that meant yeah. pulling someone's leg at one it's time. Antiquated okay. language. Yeah, it's antiquated language. So he was diddling with the French captain, but with that. Oh. yeah. Anyway, in the jovial sense. Yes. Yes. Pulling his leg, but he was oh. totally. They put totally put the wool over his eyes okay. and stole his whale that actually contained something valuable. Oh. But, yeah, his dead stinky whale. Oh. Anyway. Not what you expect. No. That book. You would Clearly have no not. idea. Nope. But when you think about it with today's TV shows and stuff like that, it's not really any worse than that. No. Because, I mean, yeah. Game of Thrones, stuff like that, oh, it's yeah. pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. a friend of mine referred to that as blood porn. Yeah. Basically. Anyway. So I'm still reading Moby Dick. Okay. I'm almost, I'm almost, almost there. Almost past the hump. Ha ha ha. Yeah. And learning a lot, more than I ever knew. I Ask me a question about flukes. Anything. Or the color white. Or the color white. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Anyway. And are you, are you, can you say you enjoy it? That's I do. Point. Yeah? I do. What? And what part of it are you enjoying? I just enjoy kind of, it, it takes me out of where I am right yeah, now. Yeah, totally. Like it, it's, yeah. It's, it's like a, a movie in your head. Yes. You know, yes. so there's so many words yeah. that you know exactly what he's talking about. And I have to focus on it. So it's kind of my treat time, if that makes any sense. Okay. Because I get away from everybody and they're talking and stuff like that. And you, I actually just get to sit and read. Yes. And you yeah. do get immersed in it. In fact, because I can't usually, because my brain attends to almost everything around me, okay. is that I can't normally read when I can hear the radio or something like that, because my ear will catch something and the thing. But you do get become immersed in. Yeah. Like, Where is this going? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's enough about Moby Dick. Almost done. Hopefully, by the next time we sit here, I'll have it finished and I'll be able to say it was an experience. So you when go. you get to your last like twenty pages, you're gonna have to get yourself some pierogies. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It's the my old Quality Street. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think I'm tired of Quality Street now. All right. So who's who wants to go next? Betsy. Sure, I can. So okay. I totally... another another person that got into a book that you're not exactly you're sure not about. Certain, no, yeah, I'm not, not really doing... excited about it. So I started the Russian, just Russian winter, not the Russian winter. Um, uh, ret the retired ballet. Ballerina. Yeah. I was going to say balletist. <laughs> <laughs> the retired ballerina. Um, there's 
jewels that she's auctioning off. I think these jewels each have a story. She's very secretive in a very kind of sour way. Oh. So I think there's parts of her life she's not interested in the public actually knowing. I think there's like a public story about her marriage mm. and then there's the reality of her marriage. And I don't, it doesn't seem to be adding up. Because the public seems much more positive about her marriage than okay. she does. Oh. She doesn't seem interested in talking about her husband to... It's either... Pa I think he passed away or he's... I think, yeah. She's not interested in she's talking widow. much about him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe there wasn't as much love lost there okay. as the public might have thought. Mm -hmm. Um and then there's another character who's just really desperately trying to communicate with her mm -hmm. about something, but she has no interest in that. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking he knows a piece of the part of her life she's not interested in talking mm -hmm. about. So lots of intrigue going on, but for some reason... Not capturing I'm you? I'm just not... It's not calling me back. Oh. You know, like when a book calls you back? This mm -hmm. one doesn't. It's I kind This of, is yeah. completely superficial. Yeah. But I love this cover. Of it this is book. a beautiful. I would agree, and that's totally why I grabbed it. I, I completely chose this book for its cover. Just her beautiful to red coat, the snow. It's uh, yeah. gorgeous. I agree. Yeah. Um, so I'm not. I'm about a third of the way through. So I should be invested at this point. But sometimes, what, what kind of bookmark is that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> I just pulled it out of me. <laughs> so it's a, oh, oh, it's cute. a Prince Edward Island luggage tag. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's what was in the, sitting around. The swag bag. It came at in the, the Fiber swag, Festival swag, swag bag. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's working great. Okay. Um, it hasn't moved <laughs> in the last <laughs> You haven't week. seen it in a while. <laughs> no, I haven't seen it in a while. Oh, so no. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm not saying I'm quitting it, but I'm reading another one in the meantime, and I may or may not. Yeah, and you're much more invested in the other much one. more invested in the other one also i really really need to get some bookshelves in my life oh and yes. so part of like i say i don't make new year's resolutions but i get ideas about what i should accomplish maybe this year and one of them is to get my books on some shelves yeah like they're just I kind love, of piled and i, I love don't looking like at books on shelves yes me too yeah. and then i want the opportunity to go through and maybe remove some that i read and didn't like oh and they're just there. Yeah. They're just taking up space in my oh, life. So oh. I don't know if this one will survive the cut. Of your bookshelf? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, because oh. you make room for I'm more. a recondo like a lot of things in my life. <laughs> my husband is the sentimental keeper of things. I purge. Oh, no, I'm sentimental. No. Yeah. Takes up space in my brain. Oh, anyway, okay. so I don't know. We'll see if I finish it. We'll see if it survives the cut. Yeah. I don't know. Not oh. Yeah, not sure about that one. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do your... Sure. You don't actually oh. have a book. You're going to talk about it. Or do um, you have a book? I did. I do have a book, but I've just kind of set it aside. I'm about a third of the way through the second Anne Cleves. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. In the Vera, Vera Stanhope series. Right. And I just found it a little dark for this time right now. Uh, yeah. Um, Just with, you know, things of PEI. So yeah. I had to shelve it for a bit because oh, okay. it was just, it was preying upon my mind and making me very sad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so we don't need that. No, no, no. no. I just, I mean, as, as, as um, disturbing and upsetting as Moby Dick, Dick is, I can forget about it. Yeah. Cause I, I mean, I'm not going whaling. No, yeah, you're and, not carrying it around. Yeah. If you want to do yeah, it. Yeah. And it was written yeah. in 1851. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's understandable. Yeah. But you were watching a show. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now I know that this is a book thing. So when Simone said she wants to put this on the list, I was like, well, is it based on a book? No, I don't think so. Nope. No. no. <laughs> uh, I just mentioned it in passing, and you're like, oh, we'll talk about it anyway. Okay. Um, right. The Last Airbender, the actual We were deciding series. it might be a comic. Yeah, a series. Yeah, graphic novel. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it might be graphic can, can novel. Can we go yeah. with that? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to look into it. But uh, So what is an airbender? Oh, can, oh, you just opened a can of worms. Oh. I don't think I can do this justice. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's people in this series, and they all have an affinity for certain elements. Okay. So they're, the airbenders work with the air. The earthbenders work with the earth. The firebenders work with the fire. But there's one special person in each, basically, generation okay. that is the avatar, so and they can work with all four. Oh, yes. okay. So he is discovered by some waterbenders and that he's a he's an avatar he's the last yeah. airbender so he's the last one of his kind but he's also the avatar as well oh, so, okay 
it's all of their adventures while he tries to learn the different techniques of the elements. And okay. target audience is probably like nine, nine, <laughs> nine year old boys. Early, yes, nine year old yeah. boys. Yeah. <laughs> and, and early teen. Cause my, my girls, when they, yeah. they watched it, they loved it. They were all into it. And I kind mm -hmm. of like, it's enough of a story though, that it kept yeah. drawing me in. It's a really I would good totally story. keep peeking my head around the corner. I'm sorry, I can't, yeah. until I, I expel this from my head, I can't concentrate. Oh, but. If it's about if nine year old boys like <laughs> and the name is the last airbender. Oh shit. I, <laughs> Oh believe I was, me, there's the jokes. Okay. There's the jokes. Oh, okay. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I just had to save Ginger Snaps and Airbender. Oh, okay. oh dear. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So there's a little bit of nine year old boy too. Yeah. And there is there's nine year old boy humor in it. Yeah. yeah. But okay. there's it's also just... actually some like pieces of wisdom yep. yeah and okay. i don't know how often my family has sung the song through the mountain or is it through the tunnel through the oh. through the tunnel oh <laughs> okay. so now i'm gonna have to watch it so... secret tunnel i think yeah, it's secret anime. Tunnel. oh it's it... totally animated it's, yeah. it's, it's anime. anime yeah oh okay oh. yeah so, so it's a i really don't think kim is <laughs> i don't like anime i don't I'm think you're gonna enjoy this but you were, i think you were not their target audience no <laughs> But apparently Betsy but, and I are a little uh, I, It's funny because there is like things that I watch that I have no interest in. And I'll just be like, girls, like, when does this even entertain yeah. you? It's so yeah. ridiculous. But this one, like I said, it drew me in. So I know bits and pieces of the yep. story, even though I didn't follow oh, at all. Okay. And it's, through. it's okay. lighthearted yeah. and it's very family friendly. Oh, so okay. I also okay. found yeah. it. I think what drew me in too is when I started watching it, I was like, I am culturally confused by this. Because the humor and the characters and what they were saying was in many ways very American. Yeah. Or North American, you could say. But it's done in this anime style, style with Japanese uh, kind of setting. Like backdrops. And yeah. Like that. Okay. yeah. And so okay. at first I was like, I don't get this, girls. Who made this? What is this? Who? Like, so it was, yeah. I was kind of fascinated by this. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, all around. So if you were in Melville and writing a book about this, yeah. you could ha have three juicy chapters oh. on that. <laughs> I could have a few. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. oh. Okay, so that sounds interesting. Yeah, so that's what we did in lieu of reading Anne Cleves. Oh, yes. okay. So much lighter. Yeah, and, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with Anne Cleves. I enjoyed yeah. the first book immensely, but the subject, subject material in the second book was just a little too well, heavy for me Well, I right would now. say that they're all dark. Yeah. Since they all have like a murder, well, it's a murder stuff mystery. like that. it's yes. a murder mystery. So yeah. and but it's it is also um in fact I saw an interview with the woman that plays Vera in the T V mm -hmm. show and she was talking about how um conscientious they are about keeping things as real as possible mm -hmm. without having to put some kind of rating on the on right. the show. So right. they the whole thing is is that it's Pretty, pretty real. So mm. if it's it's not light, no, no, yeah. No. So anyway, it's yeah. Like... But you can you can story tell and get the point across without having to be insanely graphic. Mm -hmm. Yes, like it is. There, she, it's not the show is not yeah. gratuitous. Yeah. Let's say like okay. gratuitous, but and you never you never really. Um, I wouldn't say you did. I've seen, I watched the whole series mm. and I'm, I don't know if the book is the same, but I would never ha have had to turn off right. the TV yeah. or anything. Yeah. It's like you should, they do a lot of, um, you know, what's happening by just osmosis with it. Yes. Just suggest, yeah. suggesting they're very good at that. Mm. But, uh, so I don't know if that would be the same in the books because I haven't um, read any it of the is. books. Okay. It is, but again, it's just. This particular, particular story yeah, is, is just a little little hard dark. to yeah. swallow right now. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So. so I think I may finish it later on. Might move on to the next one in the series. Just give a yeah. skip. Yeah. 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 Because I know I read a lot of the um, Kathy Reich's Temperance Brennan series. I think mm -hmm. that was that. That's the the books that the Bones TV show was based oh, on. Oh, okay. And there was a few of those that I skipped. Okay, because I was just like, I I can't do that yeah. one at all. Yeah, the particular yeah. 
crime they were investigating at that yeah. time is just well there's always um, yeah. some kind of element of uh, social commentary as well okay. based on what the victims what their lives were like yeah. and that kind of yeah. thing so when if that gets close to home then that's it's not yes, that's not yeah. cool either so yeah, yeah. that's it. so, so it's you're okay allowed to take to, a pass it's, it's okay, it's okay to, to take a pass, pass and to watch something avatar instead yeah. yeah exactly exactly <laughs> so <laughs> all right and um, so then you have your have second book. Yeah. So I picked up Which this I one. Which sounds absolutely intriguing. Yeah. And I have to notice that you started this one after. I and know. Your bookmark I don't is way it's further. Just, oh, yeah. So I think it's way pretty further. obvious. Oh. And it's just the book jacket is what I'm using for this yeah. one. And I did only just start this one like two evenings ago. Oh, oh wow. wow. So yeah. I am. I'm actually taking... I took daytime hours to read, which okay. tells me a book is really good. Yeah. It's, it wasn't just evening reading. Right. So it's called Annabelle, Annabelle, sorry, <laughs> Annabelle by uh, Kathleen Winter. And I don't want to give a whole lot away, even though you, you learn this key information at the very beginning of the book. I don't want to say it exactly. So our setting is Labrador, mm -hmm. um, cool. late 60s, the story begins. And we follow the, um, we're following the life of a child who's born with a very rare medical condition. Mm -hmm. And this particular medical condition um, is one where it's not, he's not ill or, or that mm -hmm. sort of thing. So mm -hmm. it's just his parents have to make a lot of decisions mm -hmm. that you don't think you're going to have to make as a parent. <laughs> if that mm -hmm. kind of makes sense without giving too much away. And so it also has a really good, um, she takes a lot of time. His father is a quite a solitary man who runs a trap line for six months mm -hmm. out of the year and goes into interior Labrador, which... So they're very in an isolated... In an location. isolated town. Yeah. They're in an isolated town, and then he prefers life even more isolated, okay. um, just because he's not a real social guy. Mm -hmm. Loves his family, but in his own mm -hmm. sort of gruff way. Mm -hmm. um, so learning a bit about that and just, I think even today, I haven't been to Labrador, but I think interior Labrador is still pretty remote. <laughs> yeah, there's some remote yeah. parts for sure. To yeah. it. Um, and so you learn a little bit about like, he really is kind of taking his life into his, he has to be careful. He has to know what he's doing mm -hmm. going in there because it's in the late sixties and he doesn't really take, he doesn't take a vehicle. He walks in mm -hmm. kind of thing. I think he takes a snowmobile actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, that part of it. And then there's also the mother is, um, a transplant from St. John's. So she is just trying to cope with really small town life mm -hmm. and she's, from away and so yes her neighbors accept her but she's also always a little bit different because she didn't grow up there right. so she doesn't truly understand the labrador ways right so it's um, kind of like a parallel pei <laughs> <laughs> maybe but not Just a little know. bit a little bit <laughs> um, we're not that isolated no. not as isolated as no. the northern but the, labrador like but the, the Mentality the mentality yeah. of it, yeah. yeah. And it's also it's a little different though because it is like the seventies too. Yeah. So um, there also touches on a bit of women's roles, women's oh, and men's roles, which okay. are quite distinct in this Labrador town. Yeah. And that's that is actually kind of now that I think about it, one of the main focuses is the whole idea of what makes a man a man, what makes a woman a woman, uh -huh. and these parents are trying to sort this all out in their own society as well as in how this affects their child's yeah. life and stuff. Yeah. So all around, it's, it's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't you know, I'm enjoying like it. Yeah. Enjoy it. And the I writing am. is good. Or, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. It's, I haven't noticed it. Is she Canadian? Canadian? I was just going to say, I haven't looked to see if okay. she actually is. I bet yeah. the back, yeah. my bookmark will tell us. Um, she has written dramatic and documentary scripts for Sesame Street oh, and okay. CBC Television. Her first collection of short stories called Boys was the winner of both the Winterest Award and the Metcalf Rook Award. Wow. A longtime resident of St. John's, Newfoundland. Oh, great. Okay. She now lives in Montreal. Okay. So, Excellent. yes, I'm going to call. I'm going to say it didn't say she's Canadian, but with all of those yeah. Yeah. code words, I'm going to say she is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Great. Okay. So that actually sounds really interesting. Yeah. Yes. This one I think you would enjoy, Kim. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think you would. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I already have queued up my next oh, one okay. when I talked about the Spoon Stealer, which I haven't started yet because I don't want to, I don't want to start it until I'm finished my other book. But, um, that, but that actually sounds like an interesting I think you would like segment. it. I would yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah. A little Canadian. I've noticed. Well. I'm, yeah. I seem to be like the books I'm enjoying. This past year seems to be the Canadian authors, yeah. so I'm going nice. with it. Why not? Yeah. yeah. We've got yeah. a lot of good ones. 
Yeah. Yeah, we do. And then not not uh, as well known as they should be, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to do our part. <laughs> we're giving them some press. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and it's our pleasure to do so. <laughs> yes, and it's been really fun to watch the comments of, um, I think you really hit on a lot of nostalgia, good nostalgic memories for Canadians and people that live close to the border in the U.S. Yeah. that listen to the vinyl media, cafe. Vinyl Cafe by Stuart McLean yep. or um, Rick Mercer or yep. whatever. There was actually a show on, I heard it in the background yesterday when I was doing something. I forget what I was doing. <sighs> the radio was playing in the other room. I was doing the puzzle, I think, so I could listen. I could listen. And um, the it was an American doing a critique on a Rick Mercer um, discussion that Rick Mercer, Rick Mercer was trying to explain C Canadian government, the Canadian government to somebody. So he was doing it in his Rick Mercer style and an American was, so that would have been, he was talking about Queen Elizabeth. So it would have been, wow. and he, man, Rick Mercer hasn't done, um, any like shows or whatever for a number of years now, mm -hmm. but the American was critiquing the, the genius of Rick Mercer's comedy by today's and from an American viewpoint. Yeah. So yeah. it was really funny. It was funny to hear Rick explaining about Canadian government, which is completely bizarre when you, you actually Think understand it. It's like, okay, how does this happen? Yep. And, uh, but for an American, it's completely crazy. Like, for it. Yeah. yeah. Who, who's the head of state? <laughs> well, you, the quick answer would be the prime minister, but no, no. No. It's King Charles. <laughs> Anyway, so, anyway it was really funny. So his his legacy is uh, on, even yeah. though he's not yeah. producing new material, I don't think anymore. But Rick Mercer, although I have to say, icon. we had a moment where we missed him. When so at New Year's we went to load up the countdown, and nothing was coming out of Halifax that we could track down. Oh, really? The year before, I'm pretty sure we brought in the New Year with Rick Mercer in Halifax. Right. And this year we, I don't know if we just couldn't find it, but oh. we, there was, it was just a number on oh. the screen. Oh dear. Just oh. counted down. Oh, and that's so sad. we were a little bit sad. There was so no you stay up till midnight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do. I don't. <laughs> so I stay up till midnight because I don't have to, and my husband doesn't ask me to, but when I say, or if I say, oh, I'm really tired, I think I'll go to bed, I just get the... Okay. <laughs> and that's what it used to be. Now I have kids who want to stay in it. Yeah. They just no. want to do it just because they can, they stay, can up, stay up that late. Yeah. 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 So this is where yeah. my half, we were invited out for New Year's Eve, which we went. And um, we actually, Ken and I brought, brought some bubbly. It wasn't champagne. It was right. Prosecco because I'm not a really big fan of champagne, champagne. But anyway, and so I said, yep. Yeah, so I think we need to open up the bottle. What country are we pretending we're going to be in? Because it's not Canada. <laughs> we might have liked Norway. Or, no, I think yeah. we went. Uh, we ended up in the Azores, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. So, okay. <laughs> we did manage. What was it? I don't know if it was ten o'clock. It was. We were okay, celebrating so midnight at. The, so we had to find a place. So the group of people that go to the celebration. This is the second year that we've gone. Are all kind of interesting um worldly people and they traveled a lot and stuff like that so it's really funny so they were saying like what well, so they were all calculating the time zones in their head and oh, saying where, okay. where should we be greenland oh no sorry that's three hours time oh, difference it can't be greenland or iceland <laughs> iceland no too far west or east or whatever you can't go there so we ended up in the azores which we were trying to find a winter place but yeah, it, yeah really that was okay. anyway so that's what we did toasted we put it up we streamed it from and, that country oh perfect and then we were like just pretending and then we said yeah <gasps> okay <laughs> see ya good to see you next year everybody <laughs> that's my kind that's of new awesome. year's yeah, yeah. Awesome. oh, oh anyway i did yeah i had got it backwards at one point i had said something about oh so like 
has it hit BC first already yeah, yet? And no. Matthew's like, no, 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 you we're the first. Other, yeah. And I was like, oh, so we can't even join another province and have it earlier. No, no. Unless no. you want to go half an hour earlier in Newfoundland. Yeah. That not would, really make, not make enough of a difference. Yeah, you know? not adequate. No. May as well stay up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was fun. It was a fun uh, event, and we just didn't even feel guilty about it. Yeah. We were in bed by 1030. It was perfect. <laughs> Well, those sheep are calling. Yeah. No matter yeah. what. Oh, yeah. yeah. We although, had animals. Yeah. yeah. Although we have been sleeping in because usually we're like our eyes are open at six or before. But in the last couple weeks, actually, I, I was like, oh, my God. We it's 730. Yeah. We're not, I haven't even opened our eyes yet. We do it. Mm. We have to have our coffee. <laughs> I blame the gray days. They have been very Yeah. Gray. Do you think? That's what it I is. Think so. I, it's really I think bizarre. we're all vitamin D deficient because yeah. we had such a rainy year. Yeah. We just need some sunshine. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We got a little bit going on today. But yeah. 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 So since we're now talking about the weather, I think we're done with the books and the producer is saying, wrap it up, ladies. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoy your whatever you're reading in for the next two weeks and we'll see you in two weeks time and uh, have have. Fun reading. I was going to say enjoy what you're reading, but I'm reading something that I'm, no, I don't know if I'm enjoying. So not. maybe just get her done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, bye. bye.